Hey friends, so King Cobra JFS has posted another video about now titled My Ex Needs to Get Over Me. He is going to go off. Let's get into it and see what he has to say. It's King Cobra JFS back at it with another video. So Jessica Boyle literally sent me two pairs of her underwear when she sent the knife back that I gave her when 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 I bought for her when we were dating. Talking all this sh like, oh, I don't need you in my life. And then, and then, and then, and then. And you ain't shit, and I'm over you. And it's like, if you were over me, you'd quit talking about me on your social media pages. You'd quit sending me packages. Like, Jessica Boyle sent me back the pocket knife that I bought her when we were dating. And she's the kind of insane. It'll be like, I want my knife back now that you have it. Like, she just wants any excuse she can to keep a connection with me. And try to justify it, like, ah. And it's like, Jessica, if you wanted to get back together with me, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't talk all this shit about me on YouTube. Spread all these fucking lies. Be like, oh, I hate Josh, but in the next sentence, but I miss him. And it shows you that Jessica Boyle's not handling the breakup in the most professional of manner. I watched a video of some other random YouTuber covering her. And in one sentence, she's like, Josh ain't sh And like two sentences later, she's like, oh, I'm going to show up to uh, Cobra's house. And I want to master outside of his window kind of thing. Like, what are you on about? Yeah, clearly you're still attached, otherwise you wouldn't say that unhinged shit. And when you call Jessica Boyle out on her bullshit, she's the kind of person that can't handle it. She will do whatever she can to redirect the situation and make it look like she's innocent. It's called gaslighting, it's called virtue signaling, it's called grifting, and Jessica's the worst. That kind of speaks high volume when even my YouTube trolls are like, I hate Jessica, because in their mind, they justify it as they're the only ones who get to bully Cobra. And who the f*** is Jessica, bitch? And it's like, okay, 98% of the crap that Jessica Boyle's done to me, my trolls have already done to me multiple times. So y'all are hypocrites for hating Jessica for bullying me, dude. If you would have seen the the letter she sent with the knife, it was just so full of shit. All these, I don't need you, I'm over you. Here's your knife back, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, you still want me. Otherwise, you wouldn't be talking all this shit about me on social media, trying to use me for clout. Because nobody finds Jessica Boyle fascinating. No one likes her videos or her stupid cooking videos, or her drink combos. They only watch when she talks about me, uh, because I'm more popular on, on social media than she is. And she knows this, otherwise she'd shut the f*** up about me. If she was really over King Cobra JFS, she would just stop talking about me on her f page, dude. Like if this whole gender... Let's think of it. If the whole Jessica Boyle thing were gender reversed and I was the one doing this crap to her, people would be like, dude, you are unhinged. You, you, you need to leave her alone, blah, blah, blah. Okay, nobody would put up with it if the Jessica Boyle were gender reversed. Nobody would put up with it. And I wish Jessica Boyle would just quit talking about me and her social media pages, quit talking about my on her pages, and just leave me the alone. She is blatantly stalking my at this point, and I'm not going to back down until she stops. I'm more stubborn than she is. She's not going to win this, dude. I've already pressed charges on her for revenge my ass, because that's totally going to get your man back, right, Jessica? Sitting there talking all this sh about me, Revenge point me, spreading lies about me, 
My fans are sick of her shit. They're like, Jesus, Cobra, you shouldn't have to put up with this shit. It's got problems. I'm like, you think? There's a lot of f***ed up things I want to say about Jessica right now, but I'm like, no, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. I will say this, though. I love watching her have a f mental freakout breakdown over me on, on camera, watching her cry her fake crocodile tears. I miss Josh. I love my ring. And then turn around. You don't even know. I love Josh. I want him back. And then fucking turn around the next day and go, Josh ain't shit. It's like, who the fuck are you bullshit? And you get blackout drunk on fucking stream and tell everyone how you really feel. You know what I'm saying? Fuck Jessica Boyle. I want to lick the tears off her face when she's crying and having one of her emotional fits. That would be fucking hilarious. Then I want to collect her tears from her crying little ass face and use it as lube. The next lucky of age consenting, non related, alive of age, cisgendered adult female fangirl. And speaking of that, hey Jessica, thank you for sending me two pairs of your underwear with the knife that you sent back because it's clear you still want to ride this, but it ain't gonna happen. I'm sure my next fangirl will look way better on those than you ever will. Jessica Boyle, she's the f***ing worst. Now, a lot of people will cover Jessica's bullshit. So that when she deletes the f***ing video, people will be like, and she tries to say, I never said that. And people are like, oh, really? Exhibit, go f*** yourself. A no. A hell to the no. And that's what I'm saying, man. No one's buying Jessica Boyle's bull. She tries to say, well, I didn't say this. Really? Then this was clipped from your stream two nights ago or the night before. And you, and you don't remember because you were fucking drunk and being stupid. Jessica loves to drink like I do, but she can't handle her liquor. And on top of that, she's emotionally unstable. And I wish she would just leave me alone and quit talking about me and, and my shit on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I'm sick of this shit. It's not healthy, dude. She can't take the hands. And she's so bipolar with the way she feels about me these days because her mind can't grasp she had the best in her life, and she lost it. There's so many videos of her on YouTube talking about how amazing my is, and then she'll turn around and talk shit to me, and it's like, no one's buying it, dude. And it's like, Jessica Boyle, you're not going to win me back by doing crap like this, with the whole, hey, I'm going to revenge. When Josh talk all the shit about him on that I want on my videos, and then try to play victim like I'm the one suffering by having a mental breakdown on camera, looking like a hot, trashy mess, say so sitting on the toilet of your parents' bathroom with half a bottle of Bacardi Gold between your legs, crying your fake tears over me, trying to garner sympathy, because Jessica Boyle thinks. Oh, I can derail Josh's fame and then talk all this shit about I want on him. And then if I say, if I stay here and sit here and blah, if I sit here and say how much I miss him, people will feel sorry for me and hate Josh. And they call him an asshole because I'm not giving her a chance. And it's like, well, you see how psychotic she is. I gave her multiple chances. And it's like, I can see through her bullshit, dude. And then when I call her out on it, she gets pissed off. Because she knows I'm right.
And Jessica Boyle claims to be about, all about communication. She's not. If she was about communication, she wouldn't film our fights on social media and then put it out there for clout. Sitting here sipping on some Tranquiri London Dry Gin mixed with some peaches and cream. Signature Select. Carbonated water. It'll give me some hydration with my dehydration. No, I'm sick of it. Jessica Boyle needs to leave me the f alone and quit talking about my ex crushes. The only reason they were brought up in their relationship in the first place is because my f asshole YouTube trolls couldn't stand the fact that I had a girlfriend after waiting patiently for six years. My YouTube trolls sitting there saying, oh, the only way you're going to get laid is if you rape it. Making fun of me because I hate sickos and rape. Or saying, you're never going to get laid again, Cobra. And I'm like, F you, I hate sickos, I hate rape. Like keep waiting patiently, and look what happened. I got some, and I proved the trolls wrong, and that's what made them matter more than anything. So to get even, once they realized how psychotic Jessica Boyle is, they would encourage her to ruin our dates. And then when it wasn't the trolls encouraging her bullshit to try to ruin our dates, her own stupid shit made it worse. And I'm like, I do not need this mental stress in my life, dude. Seriously, I wish Jessica Boyle would just f leave me alone. You know in the box that she sent her knife back in? It included two pairs of her underwear, believe it or not, and this handwritten note. I didn't look through it till the other day, and one of my fangirls said, she said she did this and that, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, did she really f Jessica? I look in the box and sure as shit. I'm like, if Jessica Boyle was f over me, she wouldn't be sitting here sending me a letter talking about how much she hates me, how much she's over me. Here's your knife back. I don't want it. I can't stand you. You're not the man I thought you were. You blah, 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 talking all this shit. And then be like, oh, but well, here's a pair of my underwear. It's like, I don't want it. I don't even want to be with her, dude. And she's trying to send me her underwear. And I'm like, bruh, that is so not appropriate. That was like major stalking behavior. One second. Let's take a look at what Jessica Boyle sent me in this goddamn box. Here's the two pairs of underwear she sent me right here. These are going to look really nice and are way hotter, way more appropriate, way more easier to deal with of age fangirl. Like, she claims to be over me, but she sent me these underwears. The f is wrong with her, dude? And what the f is this Christmas bullshit? here with that. Is that from Spencer's Gifts? Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, it's a little Christmas decoration that's supposed to fart when you squeeze the button. That's cute. Here's the knife that I bought Jessica Boyle right here. When we were dating, we went to a cute little gift shop here in town, and she was checking out the knife display. And I said, 
you see a knife you like, pick it out and I'll buy it for you. Because that's what you're supposed to do when you're when you got a girlfriend. And she's so full of shit too, because you know how I know this? One more second here. Oh, look at that. She sent back one of the fan t-shirts she bought. The Simp Shrimp t-shirt. Stop simp shaming. Amen to that. So Jessica Boyle wants to send me this in the mail. And you know, that's the thing of it. She's already sent me another package and God knows what the fuck is going to be in that. And it's like, Jessica, just leave me the fuck alone. Quit sending me crap in the mail. Quit talking about my ex crushes. Quit talking about me. Just leave me the fuck alone. What the fuck is with this t-shirt? Uh, support American pipe makers. Glass, mouthpiece, bowl, carb, arch. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wash the King Cobra fan t-shirt. And I'm going to include that with the magic wand when I send it out. And I either tomorrow or the next day. So I'm going to wash this t-shirt because it's got cat hair all over it and shit. And then when I wash it and get it nice and clean, I'm going to send it to the, uh, the fan who bought the $500 wand. And I know Jessica Boyle is full of shit because last time she was here, I tried to hand her her pink coat. She was like, no, keep it. I don't want it. You can give it to Angie for all I care. Going off about uh, her words, she said, Chris. And then a couple months later, it's like, no, I want the jacket back. And it's like, she's just doing this crap because she knows that if she leaves her here, she has an excuse to come back. It's stalker mentality, dude. So I want to wash this t-shirt real good, get all the hair and the smell of Jessica off of it. Ew. And like, you should stop. Okay, here's the thing of it. You should never sacrifice your self-dignity for some good That's called being a simp. But at the same time, we live in this toxic culture where it's like, let me just put this stuff back up and I'll get back to you on that. Or it's like, you know, women are expected to give you sex, and if they don't give it, they're a copies, and if they do give it, they're immediately slain. Where men, on the other hand, are expected to get laid. And if they don't get it, they get called an incel and a loser. If they try to get it, they get called a simp. Which leads to men celeb getting celebrated for getting laid and women getting slain for it, whereas men are simp shamed for trying to get laid. And it's like you can't sit there and expect women to give you and then shame them as soon as they give it to you. And you can't sit there and expect men to get laid and then simp shame them as soon as they try. That is such horse It's just how fake our society is, dude. And there's a big difference between simp shaming and being a simp. You know, if you're going after a chick who don't want you, it's creepy, it's stalkerish, and she's made it very clear she don't want you and you're still trying. And like, you know, you can tell. And like if chicks will use what they want and get what they want, to get what they want. They're like, yeah, you know, chicks rely on simps half the time to give them attention. And the other half, it's like, eh. So thanks for the underwear, Jessica. I'm sure that uh, that'll look real nice on my next girlfriend, love. <laughs> 
And I'm sure the woman who bought the $500 wand will appreciate a free King Cobra t-shirt to go with it. I'm just trying to put things together for the wand care package so that, like, you know, the fan that paid for that gets what gets, you know what I'm saying? And he abruptly ended it there. <laughs> so what do you guys think of that? Um, I think that Josh is really wound up. I think nell has been getting under his skin. And I think Josh is listening to reaction channels. Uh, sounds like more than one. So that's pretty cool. Hi, Josh. Um, I hope you guys are all having a fabulous week. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. I will be back very soon. I have a lot of videos this week, so there might be one as soon as 24 hours after this one is posted. So turn on those notifications. I'll see you guys soon.